Hi everyone, week four and a half. Um, just a little update video for anyone who might be at all confused about what you should be doing, what you should have done, and where it should go. Um, so week one was make a website. By make a website, I mean go to wix.com or any other platform of your choice and grab a website. Uh, click publish so that the URL can be so it's live on the web. People can see it even if there's nothing there yet and then send me the URL. If you haven't sent me your URL, do that now. Uh, week two, menus. So I said that having a, a main menu item like work or projects is not very helpful because essentially you're saying to the person who has come to your website to see if your work is uh, a connection for them, for their art gallery, for their company, for their animation, design, advertising, et cetera, business. Um, you're telling them when you say work or projects or something like that, you're saying, hi, you're on my homepage and I'm not gonna tell you what I do yet, but if you click this button, I'll take you to yet another page and then I'll finally tell you what I do. Why would you make someone who wants to find out, who's, who's gonna spend a few seconds on your website, why would you make them do extra work to find out what you do. Just tell them right away. So don't have a button that says work or project or something like that. Instead, break it out. If you're a graphic designer, then on the top of your website should be your name, Glenn Zuckman, and underneath it should say what you do, graphic design or ceramics or whatever your focus might be. And then the menus might be you know, identity systems, uh, posters, packaging, branding, typography, things like that. Um, so that, you know, if I come look at your website and I say, oh, well, he does posters and packaging, that's nice, but I need an identity system. And look, there's a button called identity systems. I think I'll click that. Perfect. So um, that's week two is make menus, which essentially means make blank pages. Uh, those will be each of those categories, identity systems, uh, packaging, and so on, would be a, a blank page. Week three, last week, was photograph your work. And I think maybe not everyone was clear on where to turn in the photography of your work, and that would be on your website. So photograph those ceramic pieces, photograph those uh, pieces of animation, character design sheets, whatever you've got, and put them on the various category pages on your website. Um, and now this week, week four, is photograph yourself. Um, and those images, again, you don't have to send them to me, you'll put them on your website. So they would go on your about and contact page. So, you know, some of you may have already done some, some writing about your work or about yourself, and that's great. But so far, I haven't asked anybody to write anything. So what your website should look like uh, by the end of this week, by Monday, is you should have a website, you should have a URL with a home page and some menu choices. And when I click those, I should go to pages that have images on them. Uh, and they don't have words yet. That's coming up next. But so far, we've photographed our work and put them on the appropriate category pages and photographed ourselves, or we're doing that now, photographing ourselves and adding those. Uh, check the, the, the previous video, the week four video, for details about headshots and environmental portraits, but adding those to, um, to your about and your contact page. So your menu, again, would be, so it'd be Glenn Zuckman, graphic design, uh, identity systems, uh, posters, packaging, typography, branding, those kinds of ch choices, and then about and contact. About is ultimately going to be kind of your, you know, about me page, and then contact is the most important button on the website, because if somebody hits that, it means the website's done its job, and now you're going to have some kind of communication, and it's up to you maybe to, you know, cl close the deal, whether that deal is a gallery exhibition or um, you know, uh, a, a project piece or getting hired or whatever it might be. So that's what we should be up to by now. And, you know, I know some of you are going to feel 
that you don't have enough work. And the two things to think about are one, really shake the tree. You know, what work have you got that you forgot about? Or that's, you know, at mom's house up in Sacramento or wh whatever the case might be that you can fill out your portfolio with. And number two, um, you know, this doesn't have to be the best work that any animator has ever done. You're probably not the best animator on earth today. Maybe 10 years from now you will be, but you know, you're probably not there yet. Um, but it's, it's the work that you can do today. So, you know, I promise you there is whatever level you're at, there's someone who needs your level. So don't feel bad or worry about that. Just present your best 2021 self, your best 2021 work. So pull that work out and put it on the website. And as time goes by, you can replace it with better work. If you feel like you just really don't have work that represents what you can do in 2021 at all, we've got 12 more weeks of this semester. Uh, dedicate yourself to producing new work. I know your schedules are busy. I mean, I, I appreciate that it's hard to have time to do extra work, but what is more important than finishing your time in the School of Art with a portfolio that shows what you can do? Uh, this is not me saying you go be a graphic designer, you go be an animator, you go show ceramic work in art galleries. I'm not assigning this to anyone. This is you saying this is what I want as a career. So I hope you can leave the School of Art with a portfolio that represents as strongly as possible what you can do in your chosen area of art. So um, again, shake the tree, find the work that's there. And if you truly don't think it exists, you know, if you make a piece a week, I realize that's a lot of work, but I, I, you're picking your career. Make a piece a week if you need to, and you'll have 12 new pieces. Make a piece every other week, and by the time we get to May, you'll have six new pieces. But one way or another, you know, have a plan to have a portfolio that will work well for you by the time we get to May. So as always, I'm available by email, uh, available to chat on Discord, available to jump on Zoom and chat video face to face. Uh, let me know if I can help with anything. Uh, otherwise, good luck. Do well. Uh, have a good weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. See you Monday. Bye for now.